Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to look at connecting a, UX, a USB mixer, which for this case, hang on, let me just change my specs to the one, so I need <clears throat> to wait for this. Uh, uh, yeah, Xenix QX 1204 USB, uh, it's connected to an iPad to use as an audio hub, and also how you can multi-track uh, and monitor at the same time, etc, etc, with just your lightning connector connected via the USB. So this is dead simple, really. <clears throat> there are a couple of switches that you need to be aware of on the on the Behringer. Uh, one is USB to track that needs to be in, and also if you're monitoring out into a, a another recorder, was whereas I am now, you will also need the two track to main. Okay, so my main outputs on the back of the Behringer here are going into my Tascam A track recorder which I will later use to take the audio from this and sync it up with the video you're now watching. Okay, so all it is is your basic standard USB cable, you know, the one that looks like a printer cable, plugged into the USB connection at the back of the mixer, plugged into the lightning connector here, either the new lightning connector, uh, the lightning connector 3, or and then goes straight into the iPad. That's all you need to do, okay? And then you're, you're really good to go. So... I have a Synthmaster 1 on the desktop just coming out of the headphone socket on the uh, on the laptop going into channels uh, 3 and 4 on the mixer. Okay, and my microphone you are hearing is on channel 1 of the mixer. All right, so <clears throat> let us add another audio track to Cubasis. So just add the audio. Mono input, no, we'll have stereo, thank you. Uh, make sure it's monitored to our... And then you should be able to... <clears throat> now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take out where it says USB, USB to main mix. I'm going to take that off. And then you'll be able to see, and hear also, because this is all going through, that it's now coming through Cubasis. Okay? This is really important. To remember stuff like that otherwise things do get a little bit confusing when i start to play and you're not hearing stuff that you should be hearing so first of all i'm going to just what does what was i going to do yeah i've explained my connections uh, and you can see if i play the actual piece that's already there Now what would happen now is if I try to add something, you will hear it. But Cubase, Cubase doesn't. That's because I'm sending all the information now from the two track into the recorder. So I need to disarm that and then record over it. So 
So you always have to remember, sorry about that, you always have to remember to re-engage your mix track here like this to get the monitoring right for when you re-record and you want to hear it. So, okay, so basically that's it. So it's it's pretty simple, you know, there's no real big deal to it. And once you get your head around a little, I mean, I, I don't very often use this. I do nearly everything in the iPad, really. Um, but I use the mixer every day because of the microphone mix and the iPad goes into the mixer and then my microphone mix and the iPad mix goes into the hey track and that's how I do everything. And if I do want to record something on the desktop, I usually record it in Reason and then export the wave and drop that into Cubasis. But, you know, it's a way to just, if I wanted to just get Synth Master 1 out as an instrument, I could. But the, the point is, it's not just about getting your VSTs in there. It's about plugging guitars in other instruments, microphones, etc., etc., to record into into your uh, into your door, like Cubasis or Aurea or whichever one you care to use. It's all very easy. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. And uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys later. <laughs>